Your Majesty, I see no point in beating about the bush. I regret to inform you, sire, that the young lady has disappeared, leaving behind only this glass slipper. Yes, I'll do it. No, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, come in. Come in! Your Majesty. So, he's proposed already. Tell me all about it. Well, sir, hey, who is she? Where does she live? Well, I didn't get a chance. Uh, no matter. We've more important things to discuss. Arrangements for the wedding, invitations, a national holiday, all that sort of thing. But, but sire... Here, here, have a cigar. Well, take a few more. <laughs> but, but, but... Better practice passing these out, eh? <laughs> but, 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 if you'd only listen... And for you, my friend... Your, your Majesty, please, please... A knighthood. I hereby dub you, sir... Um, um, by the way, what title would you like? Sire, she got away. So she got away? A peculiar title, but if that's what you... She what? Why, you, you, you traitor! No, sire, remember, you, you, your blood pressure! Treason! <gasps> no, sire, no! Sabotage! You were in league with the prince all along. I tried to stop her. But, but she vanished into thin air. I like this story. Oh, but it's true, sire. All we could find was this glass slipper. The whole thing was a plot. But, sire, he loves her. He won't rest till he finds her. He's determined to marry her. What? What did you say? The prince, sire, swears he'll marry none but the girl who fits this slipper. He said that, did he? Ha-ha! <laughs> we got him! No! No! But, sire, this slipper may fit any number of girls. That's his problem. He's given his word. We'll hold him to it. No, no, your highness. I'll have nothing to do with it. You'll try this on every maid in my kingdom. And if the shoe fits, bring her in. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs>